manual ZL1. The ported controller, uh, 2.25 upper. Long tubes. Oh, so E40, okay. E40, still math. Oh, and, and math, oh, okay. Yeah. Heck yeah. So what'd you put down? 770. 770? Yeah. Okay. go uh people that keep asking like am i on my fifth uh block am i on my fifth engine how many transmissions have i gone through um it's still the factory engine and transmission that came with the car was still on still on factory engine and trans stock engine trans stock drive shaft stock axles everything on this car exactly how it came from the factory still yeah and, and yeah i like I put about 10,000 miles boosted um, on this setup, so it's been pretty good. I don't know, ups and downs. Definitely a lot of trial and error with the belts and whatnot, but um, yeah, let's get to it, you know. Mustang takes on a Camaro. Um, yeah, a ZL1 Camaro, you guys. I don't want to hear it that, oh, this is a fully built Mustang taking on a zl1 you know like it's just not fair zl1 comes from the factory with the supercharger so i don't know why it's such a big deal to add a supercharger to the 5.0 and then go raise a zl1 it's like the hellcat guys i mean the hellcat guys always always complain saying that it's not fair when you add boost to a 5.0 to race my hellcat because that's a fully built car now all of a sudden it's it's ridiculous but Let's get to it, you guys. Enough talking. ZL1 versus the Mustang. Let's go. Vortec V3, not a turbo, you guys. It's not a pro charger. It's a Vortec supercharger on a fuel system. Header Z85, full exhaust, uh, 3 for a pulley, uh, 750 some wheel. So, yeah, that's the quick rundown on the Mustang. Yes, we are on a tire. Here you guys go, ZL1, uh, manual ZL1. Uh, can you tell me what's done with it real quick? Yeah, it's a ported controller, uh, 2.25 upper. Uh, might even have a catch can. Long tubes. Nice. No cats. Are you on uh, E85? Uh, 40%. Oh, so E40, okay. E40, still got the stock fuel system. Stock all, motor's all stock in front Okay. Um, and math injection. Oh, and, and math, oh, okay. Yeah, so what'd you put down? 770. 770? Yeah. Okay. Not too bad, you guys. Not too bad. Should be a good run for the Mustang. Crazy run with the ZL1, you guys. So pretty basic bolt-on setup. Uh, you know, it's not 2650 like the other guys. Um, this was just a stock quarter blower uh, E40. So pretty simple setup on a ZL1. And it's pretty much neck and neck. Manual also. If this was a 10 speed, it'd be really, really close. Dun, dun, dun. Let's look at this badge real quick. Five slow, that's right. Five slow. It, it did its job. Um, you know, a lot of people will compare or get mad when you compare a 5.0 versus like a Hellcat versus a ZL1, you know, ZR1. Like, they always get so mad when they say, well, why the 5.0 guys always got to compare against us? Why are they always trying to come up against us? Like, because it just, it just y'all slow. No, I'm just kidding. Um, very, very stout platform, you guys, for a 5.0. This isn't even the GT500. And a GT500 would be on par with the ZL1 uh, and Hellcat, right? But as you guys can see, 5.0 is really all it takes to beat ZL1s, Hellcats, ZR1s. We'll get to the ZR1 video soon, but you guys are definitely going to be mad about the ZR1 video also. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, it, it's just a super, super simple build, you guys. It's a five ball with a blower on uh, 13 pounds of boost, 12, 13 pounds of boost. Super simple, um, not, nothing too crazy. Like, it's not fully, fully built. We're still on stock, like everything. So that's pretty much what this car gets you for uh, about $10,000. Uh, $10,000 in parts, put a blower on, you know, and good to go. Um, definitely could do a lot cheaper, but nonetheless, I, I gotta say, like, great race manual uh, Z01 ported, ported stock blower E40. And yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say. I mean, we just like, we just like running the Mustang, you know, we, enough with the internet talking, we're, we're out here doing real world, real scenarios, uh, real life uh, research. That's what I like to call it. Real life five slow research, you guys. So, um, we'll see you on the next one. I don't know what's going to be next, but the ZR1, ooh, you guys are going to be so mad with that one. <laughs> I'm going to say it. Mustang did win, but you guys will have to wait and see. Peace.